Okay, today we're going to test the, the dual Firewire Apple lead. It's already connected to the iPod. This is my one terabyte 7G. Let's see, so at the moment it's got 900 gigabytes of uh, music, which is, what's that, 44,000 tracks. Okay, so. So what we're going to do first is connect the firewire cable to the Apple charger. Okay. And as we can see now, the iPod is working and charging from the firewire. We're going to take the USB lead. and plug that into the computer there so now the iPod is saying it's connected this will probably take a, some time for the computer to recognize it it takes this long due to the number of tracks on the iPod there we go it's now communicating with the computer. So any second now, it should come up on iTunes. Again, this takes quite a bit of time due to the number of tracks involved right there we are so the iPods appeared and it's uh, started to sync and there we are okay so I'm gonna stop it I'm gonna stop it there because I'm actually gonna um, restore this iPod because I want to sync uh, a 50,000 track test library um, so I'll come back I'll record that when I've after I've restored the iPod so I've just started the restore process um, took a very very long time to start finally started as you can see the iPod's booting up There you go. So should now appear on the computer. Finally, it's booted up. Okay, so we'll just allow it to sync automatically. Uh, let's change the name of the iPod to. Mm, this is the 50k tracks. Gigabytes. So I know which. Uh, done so now it's going to be syncing so that's our specs so you can see there's no music currently on the 
I put. So now it's going to go through determining. So this is where iTunes is scanning through the library, calculating all the tracks it's going to uh, sync onto the iPod. So this is a 50,000 track library, so this, this part is going to take a long time. resume the video once it's decided to start syncing. Ok so the iPod's actually started to sync now as we can see. iTunes is uh, copying the tracks over. This will probably take about 12 hours I would have thought. So this is what we're syncing, 906 gigabytes, 50,000 tracks, um, there's nothing on the iPod yet. tracks and as you can see it's st still counting up the tracks is going to sync anyway so, so it's 11.25 on the 11th of December I'm going to leave this one in overnight the iPod still connected to the firewire and obviously to the computer So it's been running for around one and a half hours and it's synced so far 11,000 tracks out of the 50,000 iPod still connected to the Firewire charger. So yeah. I'll come and revisit this in the morning. It'll probably be finished in another uh, I don't know eight nine hours maybe ten hours. So it's been around nine hours the iPod is still sinking and so far it's done 41,000 out of 50,000 tracks which has taken nine hours to do if we just click on use it and we'll see it sinking away This will probably be completed maybe in the next uh, 40 minutes, I would have thought. And uh, we'll look at the iPod once it's finished syncing. Syncing has just completed.
And there we are. Fifty thousand tracks synced in one go using the dual firewire USB Apple lead. Okay.